Unmute all. Unmute all. Okay. Unmute all na ha. Unmute all. Okay. okay. ang ano uh, o anong class display your name with real name with your class o paano ilalagay
Hindi, hinaan mo yan. Pakihina. Pakihina. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you're watching this today. My name is Francis Cavildo, and I'm going to open us with an opening song. So let's begin. Just invite the Holy Spirit to be with us as we gather today. We do all things in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. How great the chasm that lay between us, how high the mountain I could not climb. In desperation, I turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night. And through the darkness, your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul. The work is finished, the end is written, Jesus Christ, my living Lord. Who could imagine so great a mercy? What heart could fathom such boundless grace? The God of ages stepped down from glory to bear my sin and bear my shame. The cross has spoken, I am forgiven. The King of kings calls me his own. Beautiful Savior, I'm yours forever. Jesus Christ, my living Lord. Hallelujah, praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah, death has lost its grip on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name, Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah. Death has lost its grip on me. You have broken every chain. There's salvation in your name. Jesus Christ, my living hope. And King the promise 
your very body began to breathe out of the silence the roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on me then came the morning that sealed the promise your very body began to breathe out of the silence the roaring lion declared the grave has no claim on me jesus yours is the victory we praise you we thank you we thank you for the cross and the journey that we're about to enter in this season of lent help us to embrace our crosses and unite them with yours we know that the cross is not the end you defeated death and rose from the dead and that promise is given to us we thank you jesus we praise you amen in the father and the son Amen. Tower on. Am I on? Welcome, sisters, fellow alumni, friends, and family. It is great to have this opportunity to gather together again. The Holy Spirit has moved his servant sisters to close our school in Mendiola, but he has also moved us, his living legacy, to live on as one in the spirit of Veritas in Caritate. As we prepare for Lent, let this recollection be a guide for us to achieve the objective of moving ever closer to Jesus with Mother Mary beside us and Saint Joseph cheering us to finish the course. We begin this recollection for Lent. Let this be a guide to us to achieve we begin this recollection with a special video presentation, specially prepared by Father Jerry Orbus, SVD, where he leads us to follow the suffering and death of our Lord Jesus as we await the glory of his resurrection. Father Orbus, born at Jericho Munoz Orbus, was born in October 1953 in San Carlos City, Pangasinan, ordained a priest in 1980. His priestly life started as a missionary to the Tingulan missions in Abra, 
then to the Divine Word College in Pangasinan. In 1984, he was sent to Korea as a missionary. He was our first K-pop star. He returned to the Philippines in 1989, five years later. From 1990 until 2013, period of 23 years, he was the director of the SBD Mission Office. As chairman of the board of the SBD Mission Philippines Inc., he promotes awareness of and raises funds for Filipino SBD missionaries evangelizing worldwide. He is active in the media apostolate, leads pilgrimages to Marian shrines, and is sought after retreat master. He has a regular column named Moments in the Sunday Philippine Inquirer and has written 16 books on different significant moments of our lives. These books are available from Amazon and the SVD website. Father Orbos has a strong following among many CHS alumni whose lives he has touched with his profound wisdom delivered in his unique folksy humorous style. He is indeed Jesus's true representative on earth because every time we listen to him, we get him. We get it. Thank you. God bless you. Hi, dear friends, before we start, we ask the Holy Spirit, please bow your head. We ask the Holy Spirit to come upon us all. Come Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest. Time we speak with the heart, with humility, and bring God's love. And that all people who listen, will listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. And Father Jerry Orbos, as we be, I'm very happy for this chance to share with you, even from a distance, uh, my thoughts about Lent. And, uh, you know, if you think about it, my Kapati, it's been a, a long Lenten season for all of us. This pandemic, parang Lent ang, ang mood niya. So, and parang si Mahana Santa and the way of the cross becomes so real. So let's meditate and just say, follow the Lord. You know, follow the Lord. And let's listen to the Lord in a special way. If you start with the what happened? Jesus was sentenced to death. Many of us walang kalaw alam ang nangyari. This virus and God, how many innocent people are suffering? Lord, we don't understand. And maybe on a personal note, whenever you experience poor, you are misunderstood. Maybe some of you have experienced being misjudged, accused, of being bullied and oppressed, you can understand that Jesus experienced being sentenced to death, innocent as he was. And I guess the only thing you would know is that Sana mo forgive tayo. That's the only way because if you keep that that hatred, that anger, that revenge. That's not the way Jesus did it. So if you want to follow Jesus, you follow him. He took it all. There was a reason. Because of love. Many of you guru are going through difficult relationships, but still you hold on because of love. Let's follow the Lord in the way of the cross where He had to carry His cross. 
Imagine this, huh? the Lord had no food, no sleep, he lost blood, you know, and the whole night in the dungeon, and early morning, he was dizzy, he was tired, he was getting hot, and had to carry that heavy, heavy cross. This has been a big cross for all of us, itong pandemic na ito. But we follow the Lord, no matter what. And let us ask the Lord also, mga kapatid, kasi ito po, before you start talking about your cross, please make sure that you are not the cross to anyone. Don't make life difficult or heavier for other people. Yes, follow the Lord. Follow and take up your cross daily. And you know the secret? You focus on the Lord, not on the load. Para po tayo maging matatag. Keep focusing on the Lord. Because if you focus on the load, mga load of problems, mga load of mga hurts, mga sickness, you'll become weak. But if you're following someone, follow the Lord. Focus on the Lord, not on the Lord. And falling again and again, it's a bagay, mga kapatid. Maybe we have to learn not to magnify our crosses. Ano pong ibig sabihin niya? Just look at Mama Mary. Her song, My soul magnifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Ah, ang problema kin ng marami, they keep magnifying. Magnifying is to make big their problems. Magnify the Lord. The Lord is bigger than whatever problems you're going through. Let's follow Him. And along the way, Please, don't forget, see, tignan nyo ito. If you're always focused on your load, your problems, your hurts, you forget that there are people who have bigger problems. There are people who have more hurts than you, than you have. Have more in difficult situations. Jesus meets his mother. How many mothers are suffering? Mother, thank you, God, for mothers. And please remember, Mother Ina, Motherland, Inang Bayan. Let's pray for our brothers and sisters who are suffering so much, and let's also please. Be in solidarity with them. See, my pastor, I'm father, I'm okay. I mean, I, I'm, I'm reflecting, you know, I'm just in court. Fine. <laughs> There's a world out there that needs your love. Needs love. Mga kapatid, when this is over, and it will be over, may we have no regrets. It's little regrets that we loved too little, too late. When people needed most our love, our prayers. Sana po wala tayong pagsisisi na nagkulang tayo ng pagmamahal. And please don't forget a reminder for Mother Earth, Inang Kalikasan. Maybe the Lord said, you have abused nature. All for profit, unlimited, unlimited travel, unlimited business, unlimited, unlimited everything. And we have forgotten to take care of Mother Earth. Let us make sure that there is no for the next generation. Those of you who earn so much at the expense of other people, 
it's time to really say, Mia culpa, have mercy be. O God, I am a sinner. You know, may magandang kwa. A lot of things have happened to during this pandemic. People have reached out. You know, may I, let's say look the front liners. Think of Simon, you know, helping Jesus carry the cross. Veronica, wiping the face of Jesus. Sana po ganun tayo. Frontliners, we thank you. We, we honor you. You know, you risk your lives so that others may live. I can imagine, you know, when you go to the hospital every day, the fears you have, not only getting that, the virus, but going home and bringing the virus. Thank you, frontliners. Kayo po, aming pag-asa. So, we honor you. You know, there's a, I'd like to share with you a, a little song for the, to honor the frontliners. There was a song by Peter Paul Mary, The Cruel War in the 1960s. I paraphrase it, The COVID War. The COVID War is raging. Frontliners have to fight, risking life and will be from morning till now. Oh Lord, please be with them, protect them. From all heart, bless their homes and their loved ones. This world and our love. We like to remember frontliners who risked and gained their lives so that others. Mainly. Thank you for all the people who like Simon and Veronica. Please ask yourself today this question. Who are you? What have you sacrificed? What have you sacrificed? Jesus sacrificed a lot. Frontliners have sacrificed a lot. Sad to say, Mayroon pa mga tao na during this pandemic they're making money or making a name. It's not the time to make money or to make a name. It's the time to make a difference. What have you done? What are you doing the rest of your life? Yes, please forgive us, Mama Mary, for making others cry. For making others suffer. And as we follow the Lord, you see, He fell down again the second time. Stay focused on the Lord, not on the Lord. And you know the problem why many of us do fall down? The second part is this focus on the Lord, not on your material load. Wow, loaded God, yet the money. You have the connections, you have the comfort, you have the power. Loaded. But you know what? Loaded, but not lorded. Loaded, but not lorded. You must have a lord. Be careful if you focus so much on your money as you journey to life, your power, you know. You will become a POW. Alam po yung POW? Ah, hindi po, well, prisoner of war. Husbands become, but they are I am now a prisoner of wife. Dahil sa quarantine. But you know what, mga kapatid? Please check this. POW means you become a prisoner of wealth. Please check yourself. 
Has your wealth become you, become your prison? And because of your wealth, you 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 soon become a POW or POW prisoner of worries. What well, can I worry? Much to lose. What else? POW, you become a prisoner of work. You have to work, 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 work. And no more quality life, quality time with your loved ones, with your God. You know, the pandemic has taught us that to focus not so much on the work of our hands, but the love in our hearts. You know, pre pandemic, it's all about money, power, connections, etc., etc. The work of our hands, the achievements of our hands. Pandemic comes. The Lord tells us, how about the love in your heart? What does it profit to you to gain the whole world indeed? You lose your soul. Tell me, during the pandemic, many of us realize, wala, wala pala yung wealth. Oh, you're always shopping and shopping. Many clothes during quarantine, one week. Some duster lang, okay na po. <laughs> Were you able to use all your cars, park them? Check the love in your heart because that's the most painful thing you realize in the end. Oh my God, I have so focused so much on, on my work, etc. And I've forgotten God. I have hurt a lot of people. So you're lonely, you're alone. Sisters and brothers, prisoner of etupang problema, when you're so focused on material wealth, you become a prisoner of weaknesses. Simply, with your money, you can have all the pleasures and, and the luxuries you want. Wealth can corrupt you, definitely. One more thing, maybe deeper, is you become a prisoner of worth. You begin to think that you are worth your money and people are worth their money. You know that kind of attitude. So it gets into you, it really corrupts you. Remember, you are worth not for what you have. People are not worth for what they have. But for who you are. Who they are. And you know what? You are worth for what others have become. Bottom line, really the bottom line again is, hey, wala po tayong madadala. We carry nothing with us when we leave this world, except the love we have shared and the faith we have on. You can report to God, say, Lord, mission accomplished. At that point, may you bring lots of love in your heart. Yeah, good reminder for all of us. And please, uh, another thing is because of POW, because of wealth, many people become prisoner of wisdom, human wisdom. Well, with my money, I can tell all my opinions. You know, what I say should be the law. You know, you have forgotten. I hope you don't forget because you're rich, super rich. That people have their own opinions and and peace. How about God? You know, there's one verse I like us all to remember: Proverbs chapter three, verse five. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Yeah, some of us become so opinionated. Listen to the people and listen to God. So, prisoner of wisdom. And the other thing is, because of wealth, you become a prisoner of why? Why? You question everything. Bakit? Bakit? Can you talk? Bakit? Why? 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 You complain about a lot of things because you are sort of entitled, right? <laughs> you even keep asking God, 
I guess the bottom line is if you focus on your material low and you forget the Lord, pride comes in. And with pride, a lot of things can, can go away. Even the goodness, the generosity, the joy, the trust in your heart, the fruits of the Spirit. Yeah, please remember, continue to look at suffering as an offering, please. But I so I think many of us whatever suffering. I went through cancer. You know, the old, the only thing that really helped me was the presence of God. And of course, family and friends. But I said, Lord, you are here, you are with me, you love me, you're in control. I trust you. That's all. And I said, Lord, I offer everything. There's one thing our mama and papa taught us. We were children, and this is the concept of merit. 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 You know, Papa now would tell us, or oh, Jerry, uh, if you are sick, you offer that you are merit to men. People hurt you, people uh, malign you. Merit. Merit to men. How simple. They made it so simple. Merit. They merit me life. It's your merit. Think about that. And uh, Jesus stripped of his garments. I cannot imagine how many of us can even think about this. In public, you're stripped of everything. People laughing. Ano pa? And many of us are so sensitive, may konting kon lang, wala na. You become angry, etc. Think of Jesus stripped of everything. The humility he enjoyed, he offered it all. And please remember this, may God strip us of our selfishness, of our pride. Naked I came from my mother's womb. Naked I will go back. The, Lord. the crucifixion, oh my goodness. Na crucify na tayo. You want to know how a crucifixion works? Oh, the pain? Kumuha nga ng, ng tamtaks, ilagay mo sa kamay mo. We can never understand the pain, physical pain. Jesus went, and more. You know, please listen to a dying man's words. Today, as we listen to the Lord, the first word the Lord told us, told us is, Father, forgive them. They know not what they are doing. Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Forgive people who have hurt you. Bahala ka na sa kaila. Kung sinabi mong bahala ka na, huwag mong sabihin sa Lord, bahala ka. Kung gusto mong ma-high blood na siya, ma-stroke, ma-bankrupt. <laughs> no, no, no. Bahala na si Lord, huwag ka na magbigyan ng suggestion, okay? Travel light, forgive them, at huwag pong patulan. Don't go to the level. Okay, man? They must have reasons for doing that. And Lord, this, the Lord telling us, second word, this very day you will be with me in paradise. How nice to hear that word. Na mayroon palang katapusan ng lahat ng paghihirap, injustices. There is heaven. It's very big. What if the Lord called you today? Now. Would you be ready? Yes, we pray for that grace. May I invite you to pray with me a simple prayer? The prayer of surrendering to the Lord. You know, when I, I got well of my cancer, I said, Lord, the rest of my life, the best of my life. Yes, Lord. So let's pray a simple prayer. Lord, 
please grant us to live meaningful lives. Sana po ang buhay namin hindi mababaw, panailang pasarap, pasikat, payaman. No? You called us to live lives that are meaningful and full of gratitude and full of love. Yes, simple life. Sana po hindi masayang ang buhay na po. And also, we'd like now to pray for the grace of a holy death. Lord, we don't know when, where, how you will call us. Please, Lord, grant that when the time comes, Sana, I will be ready. I'll be in the state of grace. I have been forgiven. And I have forgiven. I've been reconciled with you, with the world, and with myself. Please grant this grace. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, Please be there when I make my final journey to God, my Lord, my Savior, my Creator. Now Mary, my mother, star of the sea, Stella Maris, bring me to the shore of God's kingdom. Accompany me. I'd like to pray also this time for all victims of COVID-19, their families also. And dear Lord, please bless in a special way frontliners who gave their lives, risk their lives gave their lives so that others may live. Amen, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. May we hear the word of the Lord when we finally come. Into your hands I command my spirit. And dear Lord, remind us again that life is short. So if life is short, help us not to postpone our loving. Any one of us can go anytime, and it goes fast. So this moment, let's invite the Lord again to our hearts and say, Lord, sorry. Patamot po, for the many times we have forgotten you, we take you for granted, we do not listen to you, we, we even disobey you and sin against you. Have mercy on me, O God, I am a sinner. Lord, patawad po, patawad. Patawad po sa kayabangan namin sa inyo, Panginoon. Forgive us. And today also, my sisters and brothers, please forgive people who have hurt you. Just forgive them, as God has forgiven you and me so many times. And let's also pray for people we have hurt. I promise God to stop hurting people from now on. And please forgive yourself. The whole message of this Lent, the Holy Week, is again for us to remember God so loved the world He gave us His only begotten Son, who suffered so much, died, and rose again to inhabit eternal life. 
the cross does not end in death. The cross is about life. Agapatid, see you in heaven. Yeah, I believe in heaven. And I thank the Lord for giving us heaven. And I keep reminding you, and I would like to remind you again, see you in heaven. Please remember our most important journey in this world is not our financial journey or career journey. You know, all the achievements, these are okay, but that's not the most important thing. You know, our most important journey is our journey to God's heart. We are coming closer to Him as we grow older and that we will make it to our final destination. Well, some of you have come a long way, baby. you come a long way, baby. Wow, all the achievement and success. Yeah, but maybe you're still a long way from the heart of God. Ang layo na nang narating mo. Pero baka ang layo mo pa sa puso ng Diyos. Taas ng lipat mo na. High altitude. But so many still bad altitudes. But don't lie. We go to heaven. In the meantime, let's pray that sana this pandemic will end soon. Sooner than soon. At sana, Lord, we will not be infected by the virus. And the Lord, we learn the lessons you want us to learn from this difficult situation. May we come out of this pandemic, this way of the cross, better persons. Humble, purified, we come out more generous, more loving, more joyful, more hopeful. Sana. Sana. So my dear friends, yeah, that's our little way to cross. In the meantime, focus on the Lord, not on the low of problems. Focus on the Lord, not on your load of material. Focus on the Lord who tells you and me to look around. There are people who have bigger loads. Let's help them. Let me end then with a simple prayer. Please bow your head. Put your right hand on your heart. Put your right hand on your heart. And Imagine the moment when the Lord asked the blind man, What do you want me to do for you? The Lord is asking you now, Anak, what do you want me to do for you? Ano gusto mong gawin ko para sa iyo? Please tell the Lord now, first of all, your thanksgiving. Count your blessings, not what is missing. And tell the Lord now your, your love for Him. Repentance for all our sins, yes. What do you want me to do for you? Tell the Lord now your special request, special intention. Is there anything you want to ask from the Lord for yourself, maybe for a loved one? Yes. So pray for healing, 
physical healing. Many of us are going through pains, suffering, sickness. The Lord heal us emotionally. Many of us are going through dark times, sad times. Many are losing hope, becoming depressed. Give us the light, the light of the Word and the Spirit of grace. Many of us are still going through spiritual darkness. Forgive us our sins. Help us to change our bad habits, our vices, our negativities, the pride, selfishness, the depressions. Yes, Lord, and please bless our people who are suffering. Bless, bless our government officials to really sacrifice, to really sacrifice for the people especially this time. And bless this world so wounded with so much restoration and healing. Mama Mary, our dear mother, we honor you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now the hour of our death. And the angels to protect us, angel of God, my guardian dear to whom we can stand, meet us here. Ever this day be at our side to light and guide, to rule and guide. Amen. Amen. And before we go, um, let's ask the Lord the man. The Lord just ask us what we we want to ask from Him. Maybe it's our turn, man, to say, Lord, kayo naman po. What what do you ask of me, Lord? What do you request from me, Lord? Please bow your head again and listen to what the Lord is telling. You. Maybe maybe the Lord is telling you now, Anak, I want you to be happy. Truly happy. And you cannot be happy because you, you lack trust in me. Trust me more. I love you. I will help you. Rely not so much on your own resources. I am with you. Maybe the Lord is telling you, Anna, Sana, you live a more peaceful life. Are you peaceful? You have many worries, anxieties, you have many hurts and baggage in your heart. You have many enemies. Peaceful life. Maybe that's what the Lord would like to ask you and me. Anna, be more humble and you'll have a more peaceful life. Forgive. Forgive Kana. And share. I've given you many, so much in this life. Be generous. Help people. Yeah. Maybe the Lord is telling you, Anak, smile more often. Sure, it's difficult, but did I not promise you that I am with you always and I love you? But before we leave these stations of the cross, this reflection, let's be grateful to the Lord. Thank you so much, Jesus. First of all, thank you, Lord, for sending your son, Jesus, out of love for us. And thank you, Lord, Jesus, for being with us, teaching us how to truly love and how to truly live. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, for suffering so much and dying for us and rising again to gain eternal life for us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Mother Mary. Bless us all. We bless you all, brothers and sisters, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. God bless you and Mama Mary. Stay safe, focus on the Lord, not on what's on the load. And please remember, look around, a lot of people need you now, especially this time. Amen. So take care, God bless you again. Please stand by. We're just waiting for Father Orbas. Thank you. Father is here now. I think many of the attendants left because they thought it was finished.
who's doing the Q&A. Father is here, or uh, his square is here, says log in. We're just waiting for him to come out. Yes, Cora, mass coming later. So we're just waiting for Father. Right after the mass, we will have a 15 minute Q&A questions with uh, Father Orbo. So please stay.
Let us prepare our hearts for the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today is Wednesday of the fifth week in ordinary time, also the memorial of Saint Scholastica Virgin. Be our protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save us, for you are our rock, our stronghold. Lord, lead us, guide us for the sake of your name. Amen. So we gather together. Do you have an entrance song? Man? Okay. No. We gather together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory be with you. And with your spirit. Hi, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Thank you very much for this moment that we can be together. I'm happy to join you. If only just to thank God that we are still alive. We're still here. In a year of many, many difficulties, but today we're just saying, Lord, maraming salamat. For all of us to bow our heads in humility. You know, my dear friends, indeed, the pandemic reminds us that life is short. Any one of us can go anytime, and it goes fast. If life is short, again, do not postpone your conversion to God. If today you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Let us look into our hearts and ask for forgiveness. Lord, sorry po. Many times we forget you, <clears throat> we take you for granted. And many times, Lord, we do not really listen to you. We even disobey you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Life is short. Do not postpone your loving. You look into your heart, and if there are people you have not yet forgiven, please forgive them. Bahala na si Lord sa kanila. Please don't carry excess luggage. Give it to the Lord. As the Lord has forgiven you and me so many times. Excuse me. Just now I hear an ambulance passing by, going to St. Luke's Hospital. Ever since the pandemic, I made it a point that whenever there is an ambulance, I stop and pray. And the prayer is PDF. Join me now to pray for P, the patient in that ambulance. We don't even know him or her. D, we pray for the driver of that ambulance doing his work. And F, we pray for the frontliners who will meet that patient and treat that patient, risking the dangers of COVID-19. PDF. Include that in your daily prayer from now on. Anyway, indeed, you don't even know if one day, baka ikaw yung pasyente na yun sa ambulance yan. Or a loved one, your loved one. With, so that's why we always have that awareness. Be mindful of the problems of other people. Sorry, Lord, for the times we are so focused on our comfortable surroundings and we forget that there are people who are really suffering please forgive us christ have mercy christ have mercy and do lord please forgive us for our lack of trust in you many times many of us because of the pandemic it's been almost a year now we lose trust in you many of us turn to hopelessness even depressions. And we forget how much you love us. Lord, for our lack of trust, our lack of hope, yes. our lack of joy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
And sisters and brothers, God is loving and merciful. So we now pray not only for ourselves, but include the whole world that needs salvation. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. So we now pray together with the whole world that needs redemption. I confess, confess to, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, in what, in what I have failed to do. And I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Oh, wow. Before we go on, let's celebrate life. I don't know what you've gone through, what you're going through right now. But hey, you and I are still alive. That's the greatest blessing. So I don't know how we can do this, but may I ask you now to shout out to each other. Nako, shout out. Excuse me, huh? You know what the meaning of shout out? Well, one time, a millennial called me and said, Father Jerry, or boss, could you make a shout out for me in the mass? And I said, hey, you know, I don't shout during the mass. I don't send anybody out. <laughs> shout out pala for the millennials is to greet. Ah. <laughs> to greet one another. So may I now invite you to shout out to one another. Wave to one another and just tell one another, happy we are here, happy we are still alive, happy we are together in Jesus' name, wherever you are. Amen. Amen. You guys learn fast. You're Medjugorians. We are Medjugorians. Medjugorang. Hey, but you can learn the millennial term, okay? So it is with joy that we celebrate this month. Let us pray. Let us now include our personal thanksgiving requests and intentions. Believe, believe that nothing is impossible with God. Let us pray on this feast of Saint Scholastica. Let us also include our collective prayer that this pandemic will end soon. We pray also, Lord, in humility that we will not be infected by the virus. Our top ones do. And Lord, we learn the lessons you want us to learn from this pandemic situation. As we pray, as we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O oh Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's now listen to the word of God. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the time when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, while as yet there was no field shrub on earth and no grass of the field had sprouted, for the Lord God had sent no rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the soil. But a stream was welling up out of the earth and was watering all the surface of the ground. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life, and so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east, and he placed there the man whom he had formed. 
Out of the ground, the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food, with the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God then took the man and settled him in the Garden of Eden to cultivate and care for it. The Lord God gave man this order. You are free to eat from any of the trees of the garden, except for the tree of knowledge of good and evil. From that tree, you shall not eat. The moment you eat from it, you are surely doomed to die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. 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 Oh, Lord, my God. You are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light, asked with a cloak. Response. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. All creatures look to you to give them food in due time. You give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. Response. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Response. Oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, my soul. Let us honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. Your words, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. To you, to you. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile the person. But things that come out from within are what defile. When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. And he said to them, are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot be fired, since it enters not the heart, but the stomach, and passes out into the latrine. Thus, he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, and chastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within and they defile. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Before we go on, we pray to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest, that I may preach with love, with humility, from the heart, not just from the lips. And that people who listen, listen with love, listen with the heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless all my sisters and brothers joining us now, 232 all over the world. What a beautiful moment, Lord. 
as we come before you, you know each one of us by heart. You know what each one of us is going through. And you know, Lord, the people in our hearts whom we care for, whom we worry about, you know everything. And thank you for loving us. That's all, my dear sisters and brothers. Let's feel the love of the Lord right now. Let him bless you. Let him embrace you. Whatever thoughts you have, lofty thoughts about things, about yourself, about what's happening, set them aside and just let God bless you and embrace you and tell you again, be still and know that I am God. Be still. Relax ka lang. I am God. I am in control of everything and on everyone. I have a plan. I have a timetable. I am God. And be still and know that I am with you. As I have been with you all these years. More than so now, I am with you. And be still and know that I love you. I care for you. I will not abandon you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Mama Mary. Mm. We offer all these prayers today with love. This Mass is not just an obligation, not just a participation. Oh no. Let's offer this with so much love to God. If there is love, you have peace. In everything you do, you do it with love. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 16. And it is with love that I offer this Mass for you and with you. And to God be the glory. The Scholasticans, I'm sure many of you know this. What is the motto of the Saint Scholastica? That in all things, God may be glorified. Ora et labore. labore. Ano naman ang motto ng College of the Holy Spirit? Veritas et caritate. Once more? In verita. Could you please Veritas et caritate. Veritas ah. Could somebody explain that, please? Truth, truth, in truth in love. Truth okay. in charity. Very good. Wala pa kayong Alzheimer's. You remember? <laughs> Thank you, my dear classmates. So you were in high school, class 19? Graduate kayo ng high school? 68. Different, different classes. A different from all over and even... From all over, yeah. And I understand... Even uh, not not exclusively Holy Spirit, definitely. But may I ask, Tita, are you there, Tita? Dison, are you there, Tita? Yes, Father. Uh, Tita, before we go on, uh, I have uh, a pick-up line. Tita, you have a pick-up line. Millennial talk. Uh, Tita, glue, kaba. Are you glue? glue? Yung pandikit? Glue ka ba? Glue. I can be a glue father. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, tita, this is a game of the millennials. When you're asked a question, ang sagot mo, bakit? Okay? Oh. Okay, take two, take two. <laughs> okay. Tita, glue ka ba? Bakit ho? Kasi you make us stick to each other. Oh. Oh. Thank you for organizing this mass. The Jerry's, you all put together this. 
we stick to each other, and we stick to God, with God together. Yon. Pick up line pa. Mm-hmm. Oh, si ko naman, si Diana. Hello, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Father. Pick up line. Diana, kutsara ka ba? Bakit? <laughs> Kapatid ka pa lang, napapanganga na ako. <laughs> uh, wow, see? Well, the mood, I think we should start going back to our younger days. And don't forget, it's the heart. Valentine, happy Valentine's, everybody. Happy wow, kumusta na kayo? Naalala pa ba ninyo? Going around your school, San Beda, San Sebastian, whatever. <laughs> so, it's good to remember. And many of us have come a long way, really. Look, the fact that you reach 60, 60 na lang ako natin, what a blessing that is. And many of us have gone beyond 60. Bonus na yan. What a big bonus. Oh, by the way, tip for you. When somebody asks you how old you are, your answer is, I'm 29 years old. Yeah. And how, how heavy you are, I'm 120 pounds. Ganun lang, para keep them guessing. Okay. Anyway, the heart. Please remember, matters of the heart matter. You know what the pandemic has done? I think I've shared that with you. Kasi dati, we were also focused about on the work of our hands. Money, the achievements, the power, the connections of our hands. Everybody was in for that. Unlimited travel, unlimited shopping, and yeah, love it. The pandemic came, and in one sweep, the Lord removed that. We realize, wala rin pala yan, lahat. Look at all the dresses you have in your closet na pinagbibili mo, shopping ng shopping. Did you get to use them during the quarantine? No. One duster, okay now for one week. <laughs> Look at all those cars you have, the jewelries. What is the Lord telling us? It's the heart that matters in the end. And this is what I'd like us all to focus more. As we go to our sunset years, <laughs> tapos na yung noon day. Ano kaya nang gawin natin, hindi talaga mapigilan. We <laughs> pa-sunset na tayo. As we go to the sunset years, make sure you have a special inventory the heart. Number one, is God there in your heart? I mean, is He more with you now than when you were younger? Dapat nag-increase talaga yung presence ni Lord. Are you closer to God now? Yeah. That's very important. And say, you know, everything else, okay, man, I can let go of that. What's important is I know God is with me. That confidence. Kasi kung dami ka pang iniisip, yung uh, money, the power, the uh, popularity, whatever, in worldly concerns, if that's the one that still fills your heart, it's time to Really? No, hindi not important. What's important is God is with me. And number two, check. Are there people in your heart? I mean, I know people have become so rich and all, but they end up alone, lonely. Nobody really loves them. Maybe because he hurt so many people along the way. He fought so many, so nobody would come. He antagonized so many. You can end up empty. Don't let that be. 
So I pray for all of us. This is the biggest inventory at this point of our life. Go back to your heart. Your family, your loved ones. If you treated them right, they'll be there for you. Don't worry. So look into your heart. And I wish you all a peaceful retirement and serene answer. Take a moment, make, make contact. Maybe since we are in the same generation, maybe you can relate to this one. Okay, what songs were we singing? Imagine there's no heaven. Imagine there's no heaven. Come on. It's easy if you try. No hell below us. Okay, anyway. Okay, how could I sing this? Uh, anyway, I wanted to ask about the heart and the one the song that I'd like to ask. Is, is your heart filled with pain? That I come Tell me, Man's loved ones who have gone ahead, huh? mm. still apart. They're still there in our hearts. There were people who were good to us. Oh, let's start with our parents. Iba parin ang pagmamahal ng mga magulang. So let's be grateful for that. 
people who accompanied you in your journey, our teachers, our mentors, all of them, thank you for praying for them. Well, there were good people. There were also bad people that we encountered. Some on They're all part of the past. So what I always say is this, when you look back to your past, and this is our prayer, Lord, I, my past, I place now into your heart. Whatever happened in the past, good or bad, happy or sad, it's all embraced by you already. Tapos na yun eh. Blessed and embraced by God. So, may I ask you for a peaceful retirement? Huwag ka nang rewind ng rewind ng past. Many of us are living in the past eh. That's why you can't quite move on. Ay, nako. You hear people say, Father, nung panahon ko, nako, hindi niyo ko kilala eh. You know, you faded glory. <laughs> Tapos na ho yun. Mm. So don't, don't rewind that. Nako. And then you also, ito ha, yung, when you don't forgive someone, hindi ko makakalimutan yung ginawa niya sa akin. And you carry that excess luggage. Who suffers? You suffer. So I'd like us all in this Mass to choose to surrender the past. It's all in God's hands now. Wala na tayong magawa yan. Done. Yesterday ended last night. Tapos na. So what do you do? You lift it up to God's heart. Okay? Lift it all to God's heart. It's already blessed Forgiven, embraced by God. So be at peace with your past, okay? Good. Now, the other thing for a peaceful retirement is this. The future. You know what many of us are doing? Forward ka ng forward. Fast forward ka ng fast forward. What will happen? Ano kaya matatapos na kaya itong covid uh, anong oras kaya matatapos si Padre Orbos? May gagawin pa ako. You know, you're, you're already there. That's the problem with many of us. The future, what you're worried about, may never come. So, this is my suggestion. Jesus was crucified between two thieves. Right. And what are the two thieves? Magaling na magnanakaw. That is stealing the joy from each one of us. The first thief is the past. You're there. In the meantime, you're not here. You're not happy here. Because you're thinking always what happened there. Hurts, heartaches, let them. And the other thing is the future. Depriving you of so much peace and joy in the present moment because you're worrying and worrying what will, what might happen. So this is my prayer for all of you. Please learn to live fully in the present moment. God loves you so much in this present moment. God loved you in the past. God will love you in the future. So that's clear. So now I'm here, Lord, loving you also. Hindi ka naman nakatingin sa painting eh. Remember that advertisement? when this guy was looking and he wasn't really looking at the painting. Mr. there some others? Please pray for that grace to live and to love in the present moment. And uh, how many of you live alone? Are there some of you who live alone? Wow. Well, yeah, Diana and a lot of others. It's, it's a situation when that's where you really find out who you are, the reserves that you have. If you don't have the reserves, that spirituality, my God, you're very lonely. 
But if you know you're strong spiritually and, and you, you have a relationship with the Lord, no, it can be done. It can be beautiful as well. So, please, mag-ingat sa magnanakaw. Anytime you find yourself worrying or angry about things, it's maybe because you are not here. Wherever you are, you are there. Remember, I always tell you, mga kapatid, remember this, ang buhay parang life. <laughs> Basta what is important is yung mahalaga. And remember this, wherever you are, you are there. And God is there. So keep that in mind, dear friends. God is always with you. So I invite you now for a moment of prayer. I invite you to put your right hand over your heart. Just close your eyes in humility. And I'd like to teach you a very simple prayer. I call this presence prayer. So please bow your head. Just feel the presence of the Lord. Just close your eyes. And just acknowledge the presence of God right now. Father, you are here with me. Jesus, you are here. Holy Spirit, you are here with me. Mama Mary, you are here. Dear Virgin Angel, <coughs> you are here. Saints and martyrs, you are here with me. Father, you are here loving me. Jesus, you are here loving me. Holy Spirit, you are here loving me. Mama Mary, you are here loving me. My dear guardian angel, you are here loving me. Saints and martyrs, you are here. In this moment, let's allow God to bless you. Allow Mama Mary to embrace you. The angels to be with you. And your favorite saints. You are never alone. And listen today to God telling you, my child, I love you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Before I formed you, I knew you. And before you were born, I consecrated you. You did not choose me. I chose you. Because you are precious to me and honored, I love you. Please whisper your name after every line. Huh? I have loved you with an everlasting love, so I continue to show you my constant love. Sure. Evelyn. How can I mm. abandon you? My Evelyn. love for you 
is too strong. Can a woman forget her own baby and not love the child she bore? Yet, even should she forget, I will never forget you. I can never forget you. See, I have graven you on the palm of my hands. For I, the Lord your God, am holding you by the right hand. Do not be afraid. I have redeemed you. I am with you. <clears throat> and be sure of this, I am with you always until the end of the world. Do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in me. I will help you. When you pass through deep waters, I will be with you. Your trouble will not overwhelm you. The hard trials that come will not hurt you. And do not worry. Even the hairs of your head have been numbered. There is no need to be afraid of anything. The mountains may depart. The hills will be shaken. But my steadfast love for you will never end. Come, my love. I have loved you even before you were born. I will always love you. I will speak tenderly to your heart. I will be true and faithful. And I will show you constant love. And make you mine forever. I will keep my promise and you will really know me then as never before. I love you. Sincerely yours. I am who I am. I am the Lord, your God, the faithful God. And in this moment of fire, you whisper to the Lord now in your heart your love for Him, your gratitude. Maybe things you are sorry for. Whisper to the Lord the names of the people you love. Wherever they are, know that they too are loved by God. God loves them more than you can love them. And offer to the Lord now to whatever bothers you, whatever load you carry. Jesus, I trust in you. Mama Mary, I love you. Please remember, you are never alone. And the Lord will never give you a problem beyond your capacity. Oh God, thank you for this moment with you and with one another. Stay with us, Lord, in our journey. Enough for us to know that you are with us and that you love us. Thank you. 
Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Mama Mary. Amen, Lord. Amen. Thank you, everyone. And before we go on, let's all smile at the Lord. I invite you all to make a shout out to the Lord now. Everybody, please wave to the Lord. Say, thank you, Lord. Sorry, Lord. We love you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we make now a shout out to one another, huh? Let's go. Oh, thank you, huh? Take care. Thank Love you. Thank you. you. Inga, stay safe. Love you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, uh, Father. Yeah, thank you. I'm happy to be with you. I feel the love. Thank you, the Father. The love of the Lord in our hearts. Uh, there are three words. I told you about the three words that you should not postpone saying, okay? The three words na mahirap bigkasin. Some people find it hard to say these three words. The first word is, you. thank you, yes. Ay, ba't yung marunong mag-thank you? Ba't ako mag-thank you? Magbayad naman ako eh. No, the security guards and all those, be grateful to them. Appreciate them, please. Oh, the second word, I'm sorry. Sorry, ha? Ay, naku, walang sorry, sorry, father. Kasalanan niya. Hanggang libingan na ito, walang sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry for you. Ang bigat ng biyahe mo if you cannot forgive. You just say sorry and you are free. Tapos na. Please. And the third word, people find it hard to say, I love you. Eh, walang I love you, I love you. Corny yan, Father. Understood na lang yan, Father. Hello. <laughs> say it more often, okay? Thank you. I'm sorry, I love you. And there's one more word na mahirap bigkasin. Some people find hard. I find it hard to say this word. Yung Worcestershire. And you say stick? How do you say it again? Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Huh? Worcestershire. Worst this year. Worcestershire. 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 Worst this year. Worst this year. I don't know. Anyway, that's the one thing I like to ask you. Not to forget. Humor. Be joyful. Huh? Tignan mo nga ulit yung aura, atmosphere ng katabi ng mukha, ng katabi mo. Anong mukha niya? Joyful ba o sorrowful? <laughs> Glorious or luminous? The joy of the Lord is our strength. Stay afloat, please. Stay afloat. Don't sink with the pandemic. Don't sink with the COVID-19 negative. Stay afloat. You know why you have to stay afloat? So that you can help others float. So please, stay afloat. Hold on. Alam mong salvavida? The word of God, the presence of God. OMG. Positive vaccine. Yan ang vaccine natin. Oh my God. Positive in my heart. So thank you again. Please take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. Amen. Amen. Thank so, um, at this point, may we... Do we have a prayer of the faithful? Okay, here we go. Please turn now to the prayers of the faithful. We bring our petitions together and our response. Lord, hear our prayer. For the health and full recovery of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, from the physical ailments besetting him now, and for the Holy Spirit to imbue him with wisdom and fortitude as he resolves the issues confronting the Holy See. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the church that there be unity in the Vatican hierarchy and solidarity behind Pope Francis, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear. Lord, hear. Hear, I pray. For the Holy Spirit to imbue the leaders of our country with a gift of understanding that they are in office to serve and with the fear of the Lord to conduct themselves accordingly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the violence perpetrated by harsh words, deadly weapons, or cold indifference, may our homes, our nation, and countries around the world become havens of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For the grace to see every human being as a child of God, regardless of race, language, or culture, and for the wisdom to receive the stories and experiences of those different from ourselves and to respond with respect, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the strength to teach our children how to resolve differences non-violently and respectfully and the courage to model it in our own behavior, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For solidarity in our global human family, that we may work together in our fight against the COVID-19 virus, protect all frontliners as they face this deadly virus each day, and protect those who are most vulnerable and most in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the alumni of the College of the Holy Spirit, Manila, from Chesaf and the Chef Chesnaf, that in spite of the decision of our SSPS sisters to close Chesam after the end of 2021-2022, we alumni will continue to band together and live by our motto, Veritas in Caritate, Truth in Love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the eternal repose of the soul of Marisa Relucio and all our departed alumni, especially those who passed away from the deadly virus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own personal intentions in the silence of our hearts, that the Holy Spirit hears them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, listen to our prayers, said or unsaid, which you offer to the intercession of our dear Mama Mary. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We now will offer our gifts joyfully, humbly, gratefully. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have been spread to our earth, which earth is given, human hands have made who become, Lord, our bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, God forever. forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, your goodness you this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, who become, Lord, our spiritual dream. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Be God forever. Receive us, Lord, be pleased with this sacrifice we offer you. With humble and contrite hearts, bless away all our iniquities, Lord, and cleanse us from all our sins. My dear friends, pray now that this our sacrifice, our thanksgiving, may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As you proclaim your wonders, Lord, in the Blessed Virgin Saint Scholastica, may we humbly implore your majesty that as your merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service we find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Let's all give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks to Jesus Christ the Lord. You so loved the world that 
you give us your only begotten Son, who taught us how to live and how to love truly, and who suffered, died, and rose again to gain for us eternal life. Together with all the angels and the saints, we praise you and thank you as we now pray. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Holy Hosanna your glory. in the highest. Hosanna in the Blessed highest. is he who comes Blessed in the name of the Lord. In the name Hosanna, of the Lord. Hosanna, in the Hosanna in the highest. For two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are this moment, whatever you're going through, the Lord Jesus is with you, blessing you with his loving presence. Let's all welcome the Lord in our hearts, in our homes, in our families, wherever we are. O Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy. But then it will come for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, to death he freely accepted. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He took up to his disciples and said, take this to all of you, drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant. Be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, the saving cup. Thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis, our Pope, Nestor Bishop, the bishops, the clergy, missionaries, religious all over the world. Remember to Lord our departed relatives and friends. Bring them and all the departed to the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, especially victims of COVID-19. We pray for frontliners who risk and gave their lives so that others may live. Bring them and all the departed to the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, the Apostles and Martyrs. Saint Scholastica, and all your saints of Daniel will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory to your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, and in him, in unity the Holy Spirit. Our glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thy will be done, Lord. This is the best prayer for all time, for this time. We surrender to the Lord everything, everyone. God loves us. He has a plan. So may his will be done. 
as we now pray together to God. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Father, deliver us from all evil, deliver us from COVID-19, from sickness, from accidents, deliver us from bad people, deliver us from bad decisions, and deliver us also from negativities of pride, selfishness, depressions, and grant us peace. Keep us free from sin, protect us from all anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And may the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear friends, in 2018, I had cancer, chemotherapy, and all. But you know, I went through it with peace. You know why? If the Lord is really with you, you can go through anything peacefully. That's my wish for all of us. There will be problems, but there will be the Lord with you. So I wish you all a peaceful life. And, alam mo, peaceful lang buhay mo kung baka hindi ka na peaceful kasi ang dami kang inaaburido. You're thinking of many things. You're overthinking. And you have so much heaviness in your heart. Mga hurts. You're not peaceful if you have enemies. Marami kang nasaktan. Marami kang hindi pinapatawad. Hey, Life is short. Make peace with God and with people and with yourself. And number two, I wish you all a joyful life. And yung asayo, sarang he, peace be with you. Sayang ang buhay, hindi ka man lang umingiti. You have no time even to smile and to enjoy and smile at God. Hey, all these things you worry about are nothing compared to the joy of the Lord. So, wishing you all, wherever you are, Peace be with you and joy be with you all. Amen. 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 Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Jesus, the Lord of mercy. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please bow your heads. Wherever you are, welcome the Lord. Jesus, let's have now a heart-to-heart -heart moment with the Lord. Tell the Lord now, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. Blessings and triumphs, yes. Thank you, Lord. Lord, sorry. Patawad po for all my sins against you, against other people. I'm sorry, Lord. Lord, I love you. Mahal kita, Panginoon. Mahal ka namin, Lord. Salamat po sa pagmamahal mo. Thank you for your love. And Lord, help me. 
Help us. Patulong, Panginoon. Stay with us. Thank you. I trust in you. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, happy are we, are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Body and the blood of Christ, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. They ate and had their fill, and what they craved, the Lord gave them. They were not disappointed in what they craved. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. See, my Jesus, love this I believe moment. that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above, I love all, you above all things, and I desire, and I desire to receive you soul. into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. My Praise you as if you were already there. Night myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 So thank you, everyone. This has been a, I don't know what time it is where you are now, but hey, well, look, look at it this way. It's God's time. All right. So I'm sure yes. very happy and I'm happy also to be with you. And I hope to see you soon. Yeah, in the meantime, see you Zoom. <laughs> Try to join every, I have a Sunday Mass in YouTube, 10 a.m. here, so I don't know what time there. Uh, just get the link, Divine Word Media. So every Sunday, uh, live streaming Mass. Let me end with that question. I think I've asked that. 5Q plus 5Q equals? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. For life. Huh? Always be grateful. And uh, again, thank you to the organizers. Um, we'll end the mass now. Uh, did anybody want to say anything at this point? The um, Horatio. Yes, please. And uh, yeah, please do that. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need for protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We hope that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. And give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant us all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for, for us. us. 
Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for, pray us. for us. San Roque, pray for pray us. us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray, pray for, for us. us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray, pray for, for us. us. So let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray. Lord our God, that by the example of the blessed Saint Scholastica, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, let me strive to hold fast to you alone. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So bow your head, smile at God. Whatever you're going to, let him smile at you. All will be well. There is a plan. There is a timing for everything. And the Almighty God bless us all. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord with joy and with humility. Thanks be to God. Amen. Maybe we can sing a song.
prayer invoking Mother Josefa's intercession. Loving God, Loving we thank God. you for having gifted us with her. Mother Josefa. We praise you for her loving heart and motherly care for all, especially for the poor, the sick, and the needy. An expression of the Father's compassion for humankind made visible in the life and mission of Jesus Christ. Mother Josefa's love for your spirit made her a woman of outstanding sensitivity and simplicity with a deep longing for your will alone, offering herself totally for the mission of your son. Open our hearts to see your presence everywhere and to listen to the cries of the world for love and life so that like Mother Josefa, we become ever more your missionaries with hearts ever ready for you and your people at all times and in all places. Holy Spirit, thank you for elevating Mother Josefa, SSPS, to veneration as blessed. She is one of the pillars of the congregation that proclaims its special servanthood to you. As alumni and your favorite students, we are emboldened to take this as our special blessing when seeking powerful intercessors for our needs in our life's journey. Thank you for our privilege to partner with her. Blessed Mother Josefa, we urgently ask you from your special position of grace to help us pray for all alumni and alumni family members who are sick and for all their caregivers. We pray that like you, they may receive the fullness of God's presence in their lives and declare, my heart is ready. Align their lives to embrace the love of the Father, the saving mercy of Jesus, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. To receive the grace and mercy for healing, knowing that healing is ours for the asking. We partner with you, recognizing the power of united prayer with all saints and angels, and fulfill their missions in life. Blessed Mother Josefa, we pray with you in this time of the pandemic to fix our eyes on Jesus, that we may rise out of our complacency and begin to actively engage ourselves in restoring the world to God, beginning with ourselves, our families, and our nation. Loving God, grant the grace of canonization to Blessed Mother Josefa. We ask this in Jesus' name, who lives and reigns world without end. Amen. Hi, good day to all of you. I'm Marisa Camacho, the president of the College of the Holy Spirit Alumni Foundation, or CHESAF. Um, in behalf of CHESNAF and CHESAF, I would like to thank all of you for joining us this morning in this recollection. I think I speak for all of us when I say that the reflections that were shared by Father Orbos really touched me. And the examples he gave are good reminders of what we can do to make ourselves better persons and better Christians. I think I'll close our uh, recollection by reflecting on, by echoing what Father Orbos said that while you know this pandemic uh, changed our lives overnight, and I think without exception, each of us uh, are facing different kinds of challenges. But we must remember that there is a world out there, there's a bigger community there who needs us, who needs our love, time, talent, and treasure. And we can really uh, reflect on how we can um, contribute to making this a better world for each one of us. You know, it may just be a simple call to someone who is alone and suffering from depression. It can be sharing our uh, resources, our treasure, or it can be sharing our talents. But in whatever way, all of us can contribute to making life better for someone in our community, someone we know, someone in our family. So with that thought, you know, I, I think this is a beginning for 
uh, our Lenten preparation. So, um, you know, I would like to thank in behalf of Chesnaf Board, the Chesnaf Board, uh, for giving us the opportunity to work with them on this initiative. I think this is a very good beginning for how Chesaf and Chesnaf can work together for the good and welfare of our alumni. So at this point, I just want to take this opportunity to plug, we shall have a Chesaf general members uh, meeting on Saturday at nine o'clock in the Philippines, this Saturday, February 13. It's going to be February 12 at 8 p.m. in the U.S. East Coast, 5 p.m. in the West Coast. I invite all of you to the first virtual general meeting of the members. Just a reminder, uh, please stay around. We'll take our alma mater song. Please turn on your videos for this uh, photo. Uh, have a photo opportunity so we'll have a documentation of those who joined us today so again thank you so much for joining us and participating in this lenten recollection good day everyone Your videos open for the picture taking. And can, you look at, can I ask everybody to look at their cameras? I'll I'll take picture. Okay, ready? One, two, three. I have to go to the next page. Turn on your videos. One, two. Keep smiling. And last frame, turn on your videos on the last- Med, Med, turn, turn on your video, Med. I need, uh, on the last frame, a lot of people don't have their video on. Please turn it on. Cecil, Vicky, Norma, Annabelle, Betty, Ramona, Monette, Malou, Sokit, Vicky, Marie, Thelma. Okay. Med, you just, Med just Ready. turn on her video. One, <laughs> set the camera, one, two. Hold on, I didn't see Med. I don't have their names properly. Where is Med? Yes, yeah, she's on now, first page. Okay, smile again, keep smiling. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, yum, yum, you didn't turn on your video. Yeah. Okay, ready, yeah. Okay, one. Another, two, another meeting. One, two, three. Okay, wait a second. Now, um, is father gone? Tita. Oh, they're still there. I want to ask if he's going to have the Q&A. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's nothing more to, to say at this point, unless there's something yeah. urgent. So I think, thank you. And, thank you, uh, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Father. Thank you, thank thank you, you Father. Thank, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father. You, Father. God bless you, Father. Stay healthy. God bless you. Rana. Rana. This is our song to each other. We pray, you know, we don't know when we will meet again. But this is our prayer. That wherever you are, may the good Lord bless and keep you. Okay? Thank you, Father. Bless <laughs> Near, 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 
something for you father i have a new one for you okay ask me love you father ask me how ask me how old i am yeah how old are you there okay. i can be as you like it i can be <laughs> any age you want to be wow. <laughs> hey. that's a new one don't forget it <laughs> As you like it is the answer when go Diana. ask you how old you are. Very good. Good answer. As you like it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Happy Valentine. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank, Thank you, Father. Thank you. Big heart.
something. Thank you for Oh, no. I'm